Hello, and welcome back to Zelda. YouTube voice. Anyway, we're going to continue along. Oh god, where am I? Where was the sanctuary? Oh, this could be less than good, honestly. Okay, uh... Oh no. Well, last thing we did was we got to the house of the Elder. And I didn't save state because I'm not cheating, but <laughs> um, we are going to have to, like, work our way back there. Um, but it's only, it's just over here. It's like this little house over here. Um, and we talked to him and he told me I had to get a gem for him. So we're actually still at the start of the game, really. Uh, I'm going to kind of ignore all of these enemies. Oh man, like, you know, the Super Nintendo system did not have the most advanced sound trip chip on the planet, but the music still sounds really good. You know, I like the music in this game quite a lot. Um, through earphones that were given to me free on a plane, this sounds like hell right now. <laughs> this honestly sounds like, you know when like, uh, people who are doing like sieges for the cops, they'll like play like distorted versions of like Britney Spears tracks to make people go mad. It's kind of a bit like that right now in my ears. It's very tinny. Okay, you know what? Let's just dodge through these Octo Rocks. I have the grace to do that, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, there we go. I've never played this game, but it definitely looks like Pokemon. I mean, it's the same era, right? When did... Th was the first Pokemon game SNES, or was it uh, Game Boy? I've never played the first Pokemon. I've never played any of the Pokemons, in fact. That actually might be uh, something we do on stream. Oh god, I hate the archers. Just please die. Oh my god, just run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, it's from the same era, I think. Like, this is 1992, 191, something like that. So it's, it's, it's old. It's older than me by a, a good few years, so like... Okay, uh, so far so bad. We'll just, uh, see if we can... See if we can wipe these guys out. Oh my god, we died! <laughs> Jesus Christ! You see, I mentioned this in the last stream. Uh, I basically cannot use a controller because I didn't grow up playing console games. I exclusively played... Oh no, we're back here. I exclusively played PC games up until I was the age of about, maybe like 20. I exclusively played PC games. So I have the the controller dexterity of a two-year-old. It's getting better, but I mean, you just saw, like it's not getting too much better. Okay, we're back at full health. We'll be a bit more, uh, you know, well, a bit less inept maybe is the right way of putting it this time. You know what, even though, I will say, after only one stream of this, where I, 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 I think I ended early, so I only played like two hours of this game. Or an hour and a half of this game. I I do feel like this feels like Zelda to me still. Despite never having played any of the 2D Zeldas. It still noticeably has that DNA to it. You know, it, the Zelda games are kind of my comfort games. I play them a bit like, you know how people have comfort movies? Where... A particular rom-com or, you know, something will be just a movie they love from childhood or something like that will be, you know, in their hearts forever. And playing it or watching it gives them a comfy feeling. That's Zelda for me, definitely. Because I, I love Zelda and I have since I was a kid. I said I didn't play any console games, but uh, that's a slight lie. I did play the Wii a lot. But, you know, that also didn't help with the controller stuff because that doesn't really use a proper controller. <laughs> But um, this this is giving me that vibe still, you know. It's it's still giving me the the very unique Zelda vibe. The music. Let me know by the way. Is the music a bit too loud here? That might just be my earphones, because I feel like I did the audio balancing last time and it was fine. So it might just be me. Again, the next two streams will be weird because, you know, I'm I'm playing this on airplane earphones. It's gonna be weird. Okay, what's in here? Is this the old man? It is the old man. I talked to this guy. Can't 100% remember what he said. I talked to him about 30 seconds before I ended the stream last time. So I'll do this again. 
I am indeed Sahasrala, the village elder and a descendant of the Seven Wise Ben. Oh really? I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Dot dot dot. Do you really want to find it? Yes. As a test, can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? I don't want to. If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now go forward to the palace. Fair enough. Can I break your pots? This is a Zelda game. I can. The Morshu meme is Zelda, right? I have no idea. <laughs> um, Is that the meme where it's like that sort of distorted man with a mustache? Um, kind of, you know, weirdly rotoscoping animation at the camera. In which case it is, um, but it's from one of the weird ones that are considered non-canon. Those I've never played. I've played a lot of Zelda games. Well, i played like five Zelda games. Um, and I have opinions that are not the norm on them. Like, I, I think that Ocarina of Time was clearly, you like, amazing for its time. But, you know, uh, has aged not incredibly. I think it's good. I like Ocarina of Time, and I played it, and I, and I finished it. But, like, that water temple is... That water temple makes you want to rip out your own eyes at times. And, you know, some of it is just a bit weirdly designed. And I didn't really like Majora's Mask. My favourite Zelda games are Twilight Princess and... What else? Twilight Princess is definitely my favourite. Then Wind Waker, actually. Wind Waker's incredible. And... Honestly, past that, I'm not sure. <laughs> I really love the Zelda games, but I can't really quite explain why, because some of them I don't actually like. Like Skyward Sword, I hate. I hate that game, but even thinking about it now, I've kind of forgotten all the parts I hate about it. Or, you know, I still remember that they exist, but... Yeah, use your item, by the way. Yeah, I forgot... I, I remember that the things I hated exist, but they're not bothering me as much in my head, <laughs> you know? I've sort of, you know, rose-tinted glasses have, 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 have obscured it. Goodbye, and thank you for, for watching the stream. It's been good. Uh, come back for Oblivion on Monday. <laughs> God, the music is great, isn't it? I should be using the boomerang more. And I will say, I've never played... The, like I said, I've never played this game before, so I will be bad at it. And not just bad at it, I have no idea where to go or what to do. You know, I, I replayed Twilight Princess recently enough. Like, uh, within the last four or five months, maybe? Uh, I played through the entire game again. And it, um... I just kill him. It was lovely, and I remembered exactly where to go, and I finished it... You know, the first time I played that game, it took like 60 hours. Um, I finished it in like 25. You know, it was great. Hello, uh, E-Russia95. But yeah, it was, it was a fantastic time, and I knew exactly where to go, and I was able to, you know, enjoy myself that way. But... This one? No idea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And it's from an era of games where things were a bit different. I think this is the temple I meant to go to, right? I, w I haven't been checking the map. It is. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Oh yes, I do know that meme. Come back when you're a little mm, rich. <laughs> There's some great Zelda memes. Ooh, I'm. This looks like something weird. Oh, this is my first proper dungeon. That's that's quite cool already. I'm past the tutorial section, I think. Unless this is more tutorial. But what I'm saying is this this is a 90s game. This is uh, this is probably going to be a little bit brutal, I would imagine. Now. The, the flip side of that is, it's a Nintendo game and it's a Zelda game, which are typically quite easy. But, I am worried. Okay, that's different. 
Hmm. I don't know what these are. I'm worried about them. Are you a trap? No, you're a button. Okay. I'm very worried because I don't know what is a trap and not. And those are dead ends. Those are the doors. Okay. You know, 90s gaming could be absolutely brutal. You know what? One sec. I am going to turn down the sound a little bit for me. Um, just down to like that, maybe. I don't know if that's actually done anything. Um, sound settings. There we go. Let's put it down to like this. That's a bit better for me. That might be worse for you. Uh, let me know if it is. <laughs> but yeah, games in the 90s could be really brutal. Like, even kids' games. I am back. <laughs> even kids' games are an absolute nightmare. Oh god, I hate this. Okay, so left, 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 right, left, big. Right, left, right, okay. Oh my god! Oh god, I hate this. Okay. We're, we're through it. We never have to do that again. We probably have to do that about 18 more times, but, you know, let's pretend. I have sent the best gif in, in Discord. I will check in a bit. Like, I played, you know, the, the most... before I started streaming, and I kind of wish I had left them for when I was streaming. I just didn't know I was going to be streaming when I played them last year. Um... I played a couple of uh, graphic adventure games from the 90s. Uh, and even then, they were clearly made for kids. They're really brutal. <laughs> like, they're so difficult. Like, there's stuff that you couldn't possibly know unless you looked it up or bought, you know, the, the thing they want you to do, which is buy the strategy guide. Oh, you look unpleasant. I don't like the look of you. Hmm. You know, I played a game called Simon the Sorcerer, which is known for being one of the more lenient ones. You know, it's, it's a very, very good game, and it's uh, it's definitely lenient. I could figure out most of it on my own, but some of them... There's a there's a content creator on YouTube called Ross Scott, and he does a series called Game Dungeon. And he, he said something that always stuck with me, which was, um, some games feel like prison sentence games. Like, some sentences... some games feel like you could set them as a prison sentence to finish them without a guide. And one of them, I think, would be any adventure game. Because <laughs> some of them are so impossible to figure out on your own that it would take you... It would, you know, even Simon the Sorcerer, which again is made for children, would take you, you know, ten years to figure out. At least, at least five to figure out on your own with no hints whatsoever. Just as a matter of pride, I went, um... I went, um, I went through it with no walkthrough, like I, I just used hints, but man, it's, it's still rough. Even with hints, it was kind of rough. Okay, so stuff's gonna happen. Let me concentrate on this children's game. <laughs> I felt bad that you have four people watching, so I came back. <laughs> That's uh, kind of a little patronizing, but yeah, like um, like Valor said, I'm I'm fine with uh, with four. <laughs> it's better than you know when I started out doing this. Uh, a whole, oh how long ago? <laughs> Jesus, like uh, uh, six weeks now, something like that. Five, six weeks. Um, you know, I was lucky to get one, so I'm fine with four. You can pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master with this compass. So it looks like this is all kind of the same. Yeah, you, uh, Valor Wolf has been following me since what, for one month and one week, and I've been streaming for like three days longer than that. So it's gone well. Okay, where am I? Hmm. I'm kind of just going in a straight line. I'm probably missing rooms. What are you? Can I hit you? No, that's a map. Can I? Drea, it is I, Sahasrala. I have no... I am... If there is an actual way to pronounce that name, then, man. <laughs> you know. Oof. Drea, it is I, Sahasrala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. 
Here is a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Uh, who are... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what the item will be. I actually have no idea. Oh god, what are you? Little crayfish man. Oh, they can dodge. Okay, the combat's getting getting tricky. <laughs> oh, the followage campaign. I think what's happened um, is I have put a timer on that so it wouldn't be spammed. B before realizing that, like, why would it be spammed? <laughs> so I will take that out later. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's probably like a like a five minute cooldown or something on when you can use the followage command. I'm guessing I can light these up somehow, maybe. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Don't like this. That guy frightens me a little bit. He shouldn't, because again... I mean, there's nothing frightening about him, but I am slightly frightened. I've gotten more frightened of games as I've gotten older. Like, um... I tried to play... Actually, this might be a game I play on stream, because I washed out of it. I only got, like, two hours in. I played uh, Alien Isolation for a little bit, and it genuinely frightened me so much. Like, it frightened me a lot. And also, I found it very frustrating. <laughs> like, the combat in that game is extremely difficult. Find a big key. I will, I will find a big key. But I might play some horror games on stream. I feel like that's the only way I can play horror games, is if I play them on stream with people around me in a brightly lit room. <laughs> if you had the big key, you might be able to open it. Hmm. Okay, nothing actually on the ground floor here. Which is weird. Well, it's not too weird. I, I don't have any problem with um with horror movies. Like, at all. Mm, I'm here. Okay. The map isn't actually that helpful here. Like, I have no problem with horror movies. Um, Horror movies are actually completely fine. I actually like them. Oh my god, what is this? What is this actual nightmare? Okay, run. <laughs> is there a door I can use? There is. Fantastic. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, out. <laughs> okay, um, I wish I had, like, a torch. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay, give me... Okay, there's the key. Give me some health, please. I would like some health. From one of these pots. Oh, fantastic. Amazing. Lovely. Oh, and just lost it a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now we will take out some of these and we'll be cool. Oh, a bomb! I didn't know you could get bombs this early. Moobot just hates you. <laughs> I don't know. There might be some glitch with Moobot or Moobot might just hate you. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, our health is not amazingly solid, I'll be honest here. But we do have a key, which means we can probably get through this door, I guess? I'm guessing. Uh, can I? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Oof. <laughs> yeah, my, my girlfriend is terrified of horror movies. Like, absolutely terrified. She, um, she loves them. Like, she likes them more than I do. I'm, I'm kind of fine with them, but um, she gets really, really frightened, like openly screaming frightened. And I am always just a little bit numb about them. <laughs> like, I don't really care either way. Like, they don't really affect me. Which I'm fine with. But yeah, games, I get scared of non-horror games. I should learn some Zelda themes on piano, actually. That might be something to do for the fo for the the follower goal thing. Learn some Zelda stuff. Because Zelda has some of the best music of any game, really, doesn't it? 
I ha I remember God what a game to have it for, but I have the um the like special edition anniversary version of Skyward Sword. And it comes with a like a quite a cool little collector's edition CD where it's like um like a an, a full length album thing of all of the of all of the Zelda music done by like a new orchestra led by, you know, the original composer. And it's very, very good. It's the only, like, genuinely great thing um, from that game. You got the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. It's interesting. They, they, you know, you can see some stuff that's changed from, from old Zelda to new Zelda. Like, the big key is not just a boss key. You might want to switch to Nightbot. I will, actually, because I've heard that's better. I don't know for sure if it's better, but I've heard that's better. Yeah, I'll do that after the stream. I've only died once uh, so far, which I'm actually a little bit impressed by. Yeah, no, I've seen streamers use both Nightbot and Moobot. I'm not actually 100% sure what the difference is between them. But, uh, I'm sure there's some. Let's hit him. Hit the jumping idiot. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, any more health before I go in here? Um, if this is the end of the dungeon, by the way, then, uh, no, it mustn't be. Um, this might be a short dungeon, which I guess makes sense. Ooh, a bow. The bow is always my favourite weapon in Zelda games. Like, especially in Twilight Princess. In Twilight Princess, the bow was so entertaining. Like, actually pointing the pointing the, the Wii mode at the screen and firing off the arrows was always so satisfying. Oh god. Oh dear, what are, what are you? <laughs> Run. <laughs> just go up here and not bother with these. I'm gonna go now? Absolutely. Um, thank you for watching. Anybody that's watching live, even for a little bit, is is very cool in my book. <laughs> Which is not a very cool book, but you know, it's something. Um, and it does mean a lit. It does mean a lot. So thank you. Yeah, what I, sh what I should do is open up my... How do I open this up? The lantern thing. Now, if I actually light this lantern, will it, you know, stay lit? I have no idea. But I feel like I should try. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Come on, oh my god! It wouldn't pick up the thing, I promise. I promise that wasn't entirely my fault. Save and continue. Where am I going? It better... I better not have to go get that key again, by the way. <laughs> 